Hi, this is Sandeep. In this video, I want to show you how to concatenate the labels on the x-axis. Um, and what I mean by concatenate is if you look at the x-axis on this chart, um, all the labels are concatenated uh, into one single long sentence. Whereas if you compare that with this one, all the hierarchy on the x-axis is uh, concatenated in a way or rather the concatenation is turned off in a way that it shows you the bar charts um, in within that group, which is much more legible, easy to understand, um, and you can gain insights from that much more quickly than looking at something like this. Now, in theory, it's very easy uh, to do, but there is a weird trick to get it to work in Power BI. I don't know if it is a bug or not, but hopefully Power BI will fix it. So let me show you how it works. So in this uh, data, this is a Palmer uh, Penguin data set, something very easy. So let's say I create a matrix to show you what I mean by uh, the concatenating the hierarchy. So let me drop, let's say the island uh, species and the sex here. And if we go all the way down here, and then I, this, I just have a measure that averages the, the mass of that penguin. If I drop it here and go all the way to the bottom, uh, you will see that we have uh, at the top of the hierarchy is uh, the island, after that the species and the male female. And what we want to be able to do is instead of uh, looking at it like this as a chart, which is hard to look at um, or table, we want to convert that into a chart. So I have this here, I'll go and then click on the stack bar chart and now if we click on uh, the hierarchy button here we go we can go up and down so right now we are at the hierarchy um, that shows the island and when i click on these expand all the way down uh, it will go one level down and another one and it will go another level down now notice that as i go and expand the hierarchy uh, it will concatenate the three uh, labels from those hierarchies together. So the first one was this Bisco, which is the island. After that, the species, the Gentoo penguin is the species, um, and then the sex of the penguin. So it all concatenates together, which is hard to read and uh, not very legible. So to turn it off, uh, you can prevent that from happening. So if you go to the, uh, the format painter and go to x-axis, and then if you scroll down a little bit, right over here, concatenate labels, uh, you can, right now it's turned on. And in theory, when you click on this and concatenate, turn it off, it should work, but it does not. And I spent a, quite a bit of time trying to figure out why exactly this is not working. And it doesn't matter what you do and what hierarchy do you go in, it just does not work. Um, so, the way uh, to get around that and to make it work is, I just found it by accident, is first what you have to do is, let's say you're at the top of the hierarchy here, you have to go all the way to the bottom of the hierarchy. And what I mean by bottom of the hierarchy is, um, if you have whatever the level of, uh, level, whatever is the level of your hierarchy, you want to go to the bottom. So right now the bottom is six. Um, so, so keep drilling down and go all the way to the bottom of the hierarchy. And when you are there, what you want to do is go to the format painter again, go to X axis and uh, turn it off. Nothing happens, but here is the trick. Click on the, the more options and then go to sort by and then click on island species six. And now what happens? Now you have that hierarchy is uh, concatenation is turned off and now everything is shown within that uh, specific group. Now we have the, uh, the, the island at the very bottom, above that is your species and above that is your, um, uh, above that is your, the, the sex. And to make it more legible, you can go to the format option again and then there is a line color. Just change that line color to something. So make it more pronounced. Right now it is, I'm gonna increase the stroke width here. And then instead of this, I'm gonna make it solid. And there you go. 
Now, uh, for the user who's using the dashboard, it is much more clear to them that we are looking at a hierarchy here and within which hierarchy are these uh, numbers shown. And then after that, obviously, you can make it uh, even more beautiful and more meaningful by assigning the colors. You can also go to the data labels uh, and then use the format option, change the data labels um, and so on and so forth. One thing I, that uh, did not work quite uh, for me was if you uh, click on the chart and if you go to, where was it? Um, oh, the x-axis, go to the x-axis. And if you see the line color, uh, there is an FX button, meaning you can conditionally uh, color it. And I tried to do that with conditional coloring. It did not work. Uh, and that would have been really nice that if you could, on top of that, on top of this, if you could see like, you know, if it is, um, if it is uh, this dream island, uh, then make that box, the, the the line around that, or maybe the top of this line as this in color, uh, like blue in color and this yellow in color. So it would be even more pronounced and it will be easy to understand and get insights from it uh, at the first glance. So uh, hopefully uh, you wouldn't have to spend as much time as I had to, to figure this one out. Um, so if you do uh, like this, then please let me know. Thank you.